Hey, what's up everyone, top 5 dude back on your screen. Now in this video we'll be taking a look at when men stop simping for women part 137. So starting off we have a guy who got some revenge on his wife after he caught her cheating on him. He literally packed all of her belongings and took her back to her parents. Next up we have a girl who keyed her boyfriend's Dodge Challenger for apparently cheating on her. Now the guy claims that he did not cheat on her and that she was actually the one hiding messages from him so yeah they were probably both cheating on each other. Nonetheless this girl doesn't have any right to destroy his belongings. Not gonna yeah hopefully not right hopefully go record hit scratch that shit baby scratch it scratch it Scratch it! Scratch that bitch! Yeah! Yeah, Alicia Pacheco's gonna pay for that. Because I'm going to your house. I'm going to your house. Alicia Pacheco, you're gonna pay for that? This is the second time your daughter has scratched my car. The first time was right there. Now she scratched my car again. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. What do I do? Nah. I didn't cheat. You were hiding shit on your phone. I asked you for your phone. You were hiding shit. Oh wow, it is what it is now. I'll be at your house. Hey, I'll be at your house with my mom. What is your deepest, darkest secret? Right now would be the only time you can let it out. We only have about three subscribers, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, but I'm saying this one time. Vibes on this shit is wild. Oh Wait, what was that? Can you repeat that? <laughs> this one time out of vibes, some shit is wild. All right, can you reiterate on that? No, no, that's it. Can you please go into detail. My circuit. Just please in the detail. That's it. No, that's it. it. No, that was it. Don't hide from the camera. We have three that subscribers. It. What's your name, Stephanie? Please tell us. Can this woman is clearly not in her right mind. I bet she will regret everything she said when she wakes up the next morning. Your Tinder date is picking you up, but you look nothing like your pictures. Hey, Emily from Tinder? Mm -hmm. Wow, you look uh, different. Uh, you mind doing a quick spin for me? Wow. Finger down if you paid almost $400 to go see a guy that you've been talking to for about a month um, to spend a weekend with him in Sydney and the night before you go you have a bit of an argument and he says you need space and you don't talk to him for the whole day and you get really anxious and you want to cancel your flight and everything's telling you that you should cancel your flight but you don't because you give him the benefit of the doubt and your friends say you shouldn't so you don't and you go to Sydney and it's kind of weird because I'm there for three days and he planned nothing for us to do together. Um, and all we did was watch movies in bed and have sex. And then on the way home, you're kind of confused because you're like, what was the point of that weekend? Um, especially because he was like, I'm so excited to see you, but then chose to do nothing with you. Um, 
So you're kind of confused and you're like, do I actually like this guy or do I just like the attention? And as soon as you get home, he ignores you and ignores all your messages and you give him the benefit of the doubt and you think that he's busy maybe, but then he tells you that he's taking the whole week off work and you're like, okay, so you're not busy, you're at home. Um, and pretty much you decide because he's ignoring you, you're like, okay, I get the hint and you write a big paragraph and you say how you feel and that we should probably cut things off, but you get a bit scared and worried and you're like, maybe he is busy and you give him the benefit of the doubt again. So you don't send it and all you say is, hey, can we talk? And he replies with some stupid little thing and then he sent, he, he hits you with the, um, I think we should part ways because we have different communication styles. Um, after you literally paid $400 to see him for a weekend and he did nothing for you. She should honestly stop feeling bad for herself. At the end of the day, she herself chose to spend $400 on that flight. I guess these two were simply just not meant to be and yeah, you lost out on some money. So what? A guy I think is hooking up with someone and then they go, oh, my friend wants to play video games. And I'm like, okay, bye. I'll leave then. He hooked up with you and he wanted to play video games. Then he was like, yeah, my friends want to play video games. And I was like, well, I'm not going to be here for that. What game was it? If it was Call of Duty, I get it. it. You got it? Nah, fuck that. Uh, no, uh, no, 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 Why not? Why not? She has my passport. Though. Exactly, then why not check? You know what I'm saying? You already know what we're up to. I didn't even get to say that you guys are a beautiful couple, you know what I'm saying? So why not do it? How long have you guys been together? Like a year. Damn, that's a good year. That's good stuff right there. All right, let's do it. Let's go to the messages. Who's that? Wait, 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 what are you looking at? Whoa, what? Bro, I was getting real sad. Then I just need to put my glasses on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she not the one for me. She really just, she belong to the streets. You know what I'm saying? She, she gone. My biggest challenge is my mobility. It's, it's hard for me to stand a lot. So uh. I usually just grab whatever's Quick and easy. Quick and easy. It sounds like you're saying that walking to a salad is harder than walking to a pizza. She absolutely got destroyed, but he is telling the truth though. This woman should stop making excuses for herself and just lose some weight. This is prettier. Neither. <gasps> <laughs> I'm searching for a girlfriend. Can you be mine? This is for you. Dab. Dab, 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 dab. If you want to be my boyfriend. No, I have one. Great! If I had thought I was sliding into the friend zone, I would just say like, hey, if I'm not what you're looking for, I totally respect that you are lovely and I wish you the best in everything. I'm not interested in the friend zone. All the best to you. And at that point, and I am very good at this, I would flip the switch in my mind and I would never think about that person again. I never had to say this to my wife, but you bold. So she drove my car to your to your house for real, bro. All the way clean. Wow. Wow. Why would you do that? Why would you drive about, my car? About twice so far. Hold on. What? Yeah, about twice. She drove my car twice. Yeah. I connected my phone to the Bluetooth and everything. That ABM IV. That was on the Bluetooth. Um. All right, this was it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you smash that like button. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, I'm out. Peace.